Hey everybody, I want to show you a fantastic product that I've really fell in love with over the last couple of years. Uh, I met the All Red family up in Salt Lake City at the Expo a couple of years ago, and they had at the time it was a brand new skull mount bracket called the Skull Max that they had uh, invented that I just instantly fell in love with. It was unique. It was the only thing on the market that was secure and that you could actually swivel and pivot ahead and it would extend off the wall if you had like a deer or an elk or something like that. So I wanted to take a quick minute and kind of show you this bracket today and a few of the different configurations made. I also want to make sure you know that I'm not sponsored by or paid by anybody. This to me is just top of the heat with securing a skull to the wall and gives you more versatility than literally anything on the market and it's not going anywhere. The other piece for me is I live in an earthquake environment. So if I just have a skull that sits on the wall and it's not secure, I always have the opportunity to have it fall off. So hang in there, I'll show you how it goes together. So the easiest way for me to describe the bracket design is that it's a two-piece configuration that jam nuts between a ball joint and the brain hole. So I'll put it together real quick to show you without the skull on it, and then we'll put it on the skull. You can see how it swivels 360, up, down, right, left. Very, very versatile. So on the bracket itself, there's a longer, narrower piece and a wider, fatter piece. The wider, fatter piece goes on the outside of the skull. The longer narrow piece goes inside the brain hole. You put it around the ball joint and then tight and torque to it's the tension you want to hold in place. Then I just swivel it around, take a look at it from a couple different angles in the room. And then once you've got it on there, it's really, really important that you torque that nut really, really tight to keep it secure and held where you want it to be. One other place the Skull Max has really helped me out is uh, early on in my marriage, I had made an agreement with my wife that all the heads and horns and trophies would stay in one room. And I have literally kind of run out of room. So I kind of want to pan through here and show you all the places I was able to use the Skull Max in different spots. So with this, I can't put it against the wall because I've got skulls underneath and it's it's made it able for me to use like a false wall out in front and I'll pan over and I'll show you I've had skulls on the ground I'm actually attaching them to junipers and things like that so take a quick look here so all those antelope on the bottom there started to fit that red stag in New Zealand was on the ground you can see there's literally no wall space there to put anything. It was laying up on the ground. And I've taken and just been able to take that skull max and put it right in the corner of a wall. All these deer here are from the same ranch. They wouldn't fit um, against a wall. So I've literally utilized that juniper as a little pedestal for all of them. And then where I do have wall space, naturally I've got them hung against the wall. If I had my ruthers, I'd put everything on a skull max. You can see how much wall space there I'm utilizing with that bracket. Very, very little. And you can see all these mule deer here. This one was welded to a post. So here's a real quick look at how the wall bracket goes together. You have an optional back plate and you have a little C-type clip that supports the rod where the ball is connected. So you just put your back plate on, run two screws into your wall, and then the rod slides down with a little rubber sleeve that goes around it to help grab the cover plate, if you will. From there, swivel it around any direction, get it where you want it, and then you can kind of torque everything down once you've got it right where you like it. The connection to the skull is the same for all pieces. They would just be a larger version for a bison or an elk versus a deer or a pig or something like that. 
All right, just to wrap up, just a few of the basics to kind of cover this. Any critter with a brain hole that's bigger than a predator, small predator, you can do on this. I've done three bull elk over 400 inches, all fit on their bracket. I've done sheep, goats, tar, chamois. If it's got a brain hole, you can use the skull max. So if you're looking for something really versatile or a nice, showpiece that you can put up in your family room where you can actually move it or adjust it this is the bracket for you if you want to know more about the product you can go to skullmax.com and if you want to see a really nice article write-up review go to ireviewgear.com randy johnson just did a really in-depth piece on this particular bracket and you can see all the different configurations that they offer they offer the pedestal mount the wall mount, a customizable piece, um, all different arrays of back panels and displays. I've actually personally had them hand cut my own design in the back. Um, great guys, fantastic bracket. Hopefully it will work for you in your trophy room. Thanks again for watching.